Hey guys, welcome to this weekend vlog. It is Saturday today. It's about three o'clock, I think. And I tried to start this video yesterday and also this morning and it didn't, every single time it kind of didn't really go anywhere. So yesterday after work, I went to get some bits. I had to get some vitamin C because I've just run out of vitamin C. Um, so as in skincare wise, so I popped to King's Cross. <laughs> Crazy. It's so pretty here. I've never been here before. Oh, I love that. Look at this. True. I have never been here before, but I'm in Cold Drops Yard. There's no one around, so I can vlog. Um, but I'm in King's Cross. I don't know why I have this one. There's no one around. Um, I'm in King's Cross. I'm quite sweaty, as you can see. And um, I think I'm going to head back now. I only came out to get some fresh air and to get some vitamin c as in buy some for my skin so um yeah i feel like i need a shower and um that's that really hi let me put some clothes on i think that might be kind of crucial happy friday guys happy friday to us all pay myself a little drink quite a big drink what is it you ask it's a mocktail with alcohol in it as in i started making a mocktail and then i thought you know what I've got this fancy vodka that I got from Discarded. Mm, I think it's made using grapes and it's the brand's called Discarded. It's a very, very good, like zero waste sustainable brand or low waste. And I added a bit of that to some apple juice and some Sicilian lemonade and fresh lemon juice and some sparkling water. And I'm just about to do my makeup. So um, yeah, welcome to the vlog. How are we doing? That's, that's the situation as it stands. I just got back from King's Cross. I don't think I actually got a lot of footage, but it was very cool there. I'd definitely go back. And I picked up this. It's from The Ordinary, who are cruelty-free with a non-cruelty-free parent company. It's their vitamin C, 23% with hyaluronic acid spheres. So let's give it a go, because I've heard mixed reviews about this and I needed a new vitamin C, so it was actually some skincare that I needed for once in my life. How much to use? That's the question, isn't it? Apply a small amount. Hmm. Already messed up. Hmm. Feels a bit, ooh, feels very gritty, super gritty actually. I can really feel the texture in my hands and then on my face I can feel it even more. What the heck? It feels really like silicony and gritty. It doesn't feel sticky, <laughs> just trying to describe the texture, but I can really feel it. It feels like a physical exfoliant. Hmm, okay. Not great first impressions. Let me know if you've tried this because that is not what I ex expected. I had seen, seen some people say that it was a bit heavy on the skin, but I don't think I've seen anyone say it's gritty. I actually think before I do my makeup, I'm going to have my tea because I'm quite peckish. I'm going to switch up the order of things, but I'll show you what I'm having for tea. Pumpkin and katsu curry. <laughs> it was so disgusting. Pumpkin katsu curry. Pumpkin croquette coated in panko breadcrumbs with an irresistible curry sauce and rice. I've never had this before, but I saw it in Sainsbury's the other day and then I couldn't stop thinking about it because I have a bit of a thing for katsu curry. I prefer it when it's like fake chicken, but apparently this is good. I posted it on Instagram and some people said it was really good, so I'm going to try it. 20 minutes in the oven. Let's give it a go. This is what it looks like. It's bubbling. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. And then this morning I had to get up bright and early for work. I think I got some footage of that. Good morning, everyone. I haven't finished doing my makeup, as you can see. Ugh. Just climbing up on the table. Is my taxi here? Hmm, can't see him anywhere. Interesting. Okay, so today I am going to Dunsfold Track in Surrey. And it's about an hour and a half journey. <laughs> and I have to do some filming for work. And I don't really want to go. <laughs> Mainly because the car journey... It's a Saturday. Did I tell you that? No. It's a Saturday. And the car journey is going to be so windy. And I'm going to be... I get motion sick quite easily. So I'm going to be like in the back seat. I can just feel it now. But it's okay. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. I haven't got any mascara on yet. As you can see. And that's where we are really. Just waiting for the old taxi. And I can't see anything out the window. 
so worrying because she should really be here by now. I feel like taxis always get there about 10, 15 minutes earlier and it's now past the time they should be here. But don't panic, it's fine. It's all right. It's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. It's also six in the morning. forgot to tell you that as well. But um, yeah, that's that's your update. My knees are starting to hurt kneeling on this table. So I'm going to get down, see if I can find my taxi, and then we'll be on our way. And if you don't know what Dunsfold is, it's a racetrack. And if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Drive to Survive Formula One series on Netflix, which I recommend you guys all watch because it's not about cars. It's not about the engines. It's not about all the boring stuff. It's about the drama and the politics and stuff. So, yeah, I'm in my production hoodie. Production. Um, it's not really my aesthetic, but it's nice and cosy, I have to say. Um, anyway, yeah, the um, racetrack at Dunsfold is like a famous racetrack, and I'm going to do some filming of a car. We'll see if it's any good. If there's any good footage, I'll show it you. <laughs> So update, I did throw up in the car. I did indeed, as I suspected. I hate car journeys. I just can't do them. I'm, I'm just past it. I've tried, I've tried, and every single time I'm either just feeling sick the entire time or I actually am sick. Luckily I wasn't sick in the car and I also hadn't really eaten anything. So there wasn't much, this is really gross, but there wasn't much to be sick with. I don't know why I'm filling you in with that, but just because I mentioned earlier, that's what I was dreading. And it, yes, indeed, it was, um, yeah, it was eventful. Um, and I still feel a little bit motion sick now. So um, that's that. But I'm heading out to Stoke Newington now to meet some friends. And I thought I'd take you with me because I think we might head to a flea market. Oh, is that a mark on my jumper? Just a bit of fluff. Just a bit of fluff. Um, yeah, we're going to go to a flea market in Stoke Newington. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Just had a shower, refreshed myself, had some food. Got some sourdough, which I'll put it on screen now. Guess how much this was. Just guess. Just guess. Write a little guess in the comments. Guess how much this bread was. One loaf of bread. £4.80. £4.80. That is um, that's a new level of fancy bread. Just from a local market. I thought it was a small business. £4.80 is... Yeah, that's um, that's some pricey sourdough. <laughs> but it was very good. I had some some toast. So um, yeah, that's where we are now and I'm going to leave and let my hair dry en route and I'll catch up with you when I get there. I've been using this zero waste lip balm. I quite like it. At first I wasn't sure about it, but it's quite thick. But I think it has to be quite thick because it's just hold held in cardboard so it doesn't melt. Don't judge my nails, I know. I was just boasting about how long and luscious they were on Instagram. Now they are decrepit. Oh well. <laughs> less awkward to update you like this instead of holding the camera like a vlog. I popped into Beyond Retro and I also popped into Trade and I got a jumper. Success in Whole Foods. I found the vegan mozzarella uh, that I've been looking for, which is great. It's apparently it's the same one that they use on the ZZ's vegan pizzas. This is not a good angle. My hay fever, really bad today. You see my makeup's all smudged. Can't be helped. Apparently there's a flea market around here somewhere on at the moment. And I can't find it, but if I find it, I'll show you. I think I found it. it looks promising, it's across the road. Cheers. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so what's this on the left? Big church. Lovely, nice houses over here. And which park is this? This old park. Mm -hmm. I wonder who used to live there then. In the grand scheme of things though, it's not actually that big. Like in the grand scheme of like... It's quite big. Like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's probably... This is London one time. This is... Come in, wash your face, so. This is not going to work. A big tap. Oh, <laughs> Big tap. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, lovely. That's so smells like sick. It smells like sick. This is a grit you don't see on TV, guys. <laughs> this is real life, right? Real life. Oh, yeah. Is it a sanctuary? Are they just... I'm not sure. Wow, that is a big goat. That's one of the biggest bits I've seen actually. Yeah, it's huge. It's definitely in the top three. It's Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look, it's like bits of leaves. Okay, we could check how deep it was before. It's not a breaking leg situation. 200 pounds a lot of money. It won't be. Whoa! I know. Oh my goodness, look at the... Look at the height on that. How do you eat a cinnamon bun though? Do you peel it or do you... I'm a peeler. Usually, yeah, me too. But... I'm a peeler as well. Great. Wow, beautiful. Just left my friends now, heading back to the station. My hay fever is crazy bad today, so I put my sunglasses on even though the sun's about to set. Just to um, hide the makeup marks and whatnot. But um, yeah, what a lovely afternoon. I don't really know where I'm going now. My eyes are really streaming today. Does anybody else have that where your eyes just continually cry? I feel like I've spoken about this on my channel before, but it seems like, I don't, I don't know if it's hay fever or if it's just the sunshine, but it's all the time. But hey, oh, look at this rose. It was so funny, we were in like a really nice park called Clissold Park, quite a famous park, um, and it was really pretty and regal and then my friend Katie went to the public toilets in the middle of the park and she came out and said, someone had done a poo in the, in the middle cubicle just on the floor. And I thought, yep, that's London, <laughs> just a poo on the floor lovely other than that really recommend it i'm heading back for pizza now because we got a um one of the franco man come make it yourself pizzas my boyfriend got sent it for his birthday from one of his friends which is a great present actually but they don't give you vegan cheese so hence why i was looking for vegan mozzarella and we're gonna go back well i'm gonna go back and we're gonna make them so yeah looking forward to it just actually looking in the shop window i might go in here I feel like I want something else on my pizza, like maybe some garlic cloves or artichoke. Hmm. Yeah, because all they sent was chorizo, which obviously I'm not going to eat. Seal the deal. I got these little garlic, chili garlic in olive oil, and then, which you could probably make yourself actually quite easily if I had thought in advance. And I got some soup for the week, and these. These are apparently amazing. Well, actually, I'm lying. I've already tried them. <laughs> but they I was put onto them by my friend Soph. And I've tried the peanut butter ones from this brand. Um, but I saw the hazelnut and I thought that sounds delicious. Obviously vegan, gluten-free, and they are very nice, I have to admit. So I picked up one of those as a special treat. Very expensive, but very good. And this is the street I'm walking along. Very pretty. The houses. No, not having any of it. I don't think it's a friendly kitty. Right, I'm home now. Oh, in the dark. Now I'm home now, just watching a spot of Don't Tell the Bride, which is my, uh, one of my favorite guilty pleasures, I have to say. Oh, the kitchen. The kitchen is, I have to say, we have not worked on the kitchen. It's been a, um, it's starting to come together, but it's just a little bit. Uh, shambolic shall we say as you can see from the stuff behind me um so yeah excuse excuse the mess but i just thought i would show you the jumper that i got today in trade i'll show you in the mirror actually why did i come in here 
excuse the mess, I'm midway through tidying everything up and sorting out my clothes um, to Depop. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. It's got these dangly, I mean, firstly, it feels really, really good quality. I think it's originally Zara, but actually the knit feels really, really good. It's incredibly soft, not itchy at all. Because um, sometimes I see some beautiful pieces in charity shops and secondhand stores, like jumper-wise and knitwear-wise, but they're just so itchy. But this doesn't have an ounce of itch to it. And it's got these cool little tassels, which I kind of thought might be a bit of a pain because they'd like dip into your bolognese and whatnot. But um, I really like them. So yeah, this was 9 99 as well. What a find. Pizza-wise, this is what you get. So you get the dough, obviously, which you're supposed to take out of the oven two hours before you start. And we're a little bit skeptical because the oven here is not great. And what you're supposed to do is cook the, you cook the pizza in a frying pan, but you grill the top to get the toppings all nice and crispy. Um, but they give you, I'll just show you what you get in the kit, just in case you're interested. You get the tomato sauce, like the passata to use as your base. You get some non-vegan cheese, which I won't be using. I've got my mozzarella, which is in my bag some chorizo not for me um this which seems a bit pointless it's just a little bit of olive oil which i mean i would guess most people have olive oil in their kitchen seems like a waste of plastic to me but moving on um and you get a bit of flour as well so it's not the most zero waste of kits but that's what you get um and then they also send i don't know if this is part of the same oh, the fridge was open Oops. Um, I don't know if this is part of the same thing or if it's like a separate thing that you can add on to the pizza kit. Oh, it says limited edition drinks. So basically you can get, this is the kit, Frank and Manka Pizza and Post. And then you can also send these, um, which is like a little gin and tonic kit. And it tells you which ones to have when. So you start with a blood orange spritz and then afterwards you have a G and, like a standard G and T. And you've got these four different kinds of gin in the middle. Or no, two different kinds of gin, two different kinds of tonic water slash soda, and these sweet little dried oranges and rosemary to kind of dress the drink. I think that's such a sweet little kit. I mean, oh god, I nearly dropped it on the floor. I personally don't like gin and tonic, which is a shame because this looks like such a nice kit. But um, yeah, I'm sure they'll get drunk. But I just thought I'd mention because it just looks so beautiful. And it's such a nice present. I actually just put the tonics in the fridge. Um, I just, I don't like tonic water and I don't like gin. I don't know why I have to explain this to you guys, but the reason why I don't like gin and tonic is because I don't like the two flavours and the bitterness. And gin always makes me feel sad. And actually I remember looking into it once and I'm pretty sure gin does make people feel sad it's not it's not just anecdotal i think it for quite a lot of people it makes them feel sad so yeah that's why i stick to vodka in fact the vodka i was talking about earlier in this vlog was this one which hashtag pr because i got this in pr but this is the discarded grape skins grape skin chardonnay vodka using grapes recovered from wine making this brand oh my gosh i've drank quite a lot of <laughs> Quite a lot of it. Um, this brand is so good. They do, um, I've also got their vermouth or vermouth, vermouth, I think that's how you say that word. Um, and their banana peel rum, amazing, really, really good. Um, and this one is my favorite because I, I'm a big vodka fan. It's very strange because I'm not a big drinker at all. I don't like beer, I don't really like wine. I'll have a certain cider, but I really like vodka in drinks because my, I feel like you can't really taste it just tastes like a nice apple juice, a nice cold apple juice, but it's got a little bit of a crisp note to it. And this is a really crisp vodka. I'm not a connoisseur, but I do really like this one. It's got a really nice taste. I don't know what the notes, it's got a really nice ending note. I don't know. But anyway, I thought I would show you this because if you're looking for sort of a sustainable, low waste alcohol product, then I do recommend this brand. It's really interesting, the processes they come up with to reuse products that would otherwise be, I mean, ingredients that would otherwise be discarded, like byproducts of other industries. I always find that fascinating and amazing to see. So I thought I'd give us a little shout out. I've already shown you guys the kitchen, have I? But mainly because I feel like we need some more storage. It's just a bit of a work in progress. Um, but yeah, eventually I will do a proper flat tour. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm going to just prep because I bought some of that garlic I showed you in the shop. I picked that up and I'm also going to cut up some olives i think some green olives 
Oh no, the jalapenos. Uh, oh, I got these. So some green olives. These are just from Sainsbury's. Um, but I got these in, what's it called? Hackney. I can't remember what it's called. Hackney Farm Shop or something. It was on Columbia Road. But yeah, I've been looking for these for a while because these are the kind of chilies that what the pitta put on top of their falafel pitters and they're amazing and I think also a lot of Lebanese places use these in their sort of like falafel meze sort of boards it's literally just green peppers with brine I could probably make this myself but just better to have it in a jar ready and waiting for you and also support small business it was a lovely little shop in there so yes I'm gonna chop some of these up I think to put on the pizza I'm trying to think what else can I put on top what do people have I don't really have any fake meats in at the moment oh no actually whilst we're here whilst we're near the fridge freezer i may as well show you one of my favorite things of the moment are these bird's eye green cuisine uh chicken free southern fried strips they're really good now i haven't tried a lot of the bird's eye range because i actually didn't realize they came out with vegan products but these are really good my boyfriend tried one and he said you wouldn't know that's not chicken. And he actually finished the packet off for me. Finished it off for me. He's replaced them, which is good because I think he came home drunk once after a night at the pub and then um, actually forgot he'd eaten them. But um, I saw the debris the next day and I knew what had happened. Our frying pan isn't big enough, I don't think. This is our biggest frying pan and basically the process is that you cook the pizza in the frying pan first then transfer it to the grill but i actually don't think this will be big enough so we're i'm just i've sent him out on a quest to find a bigger frying pan which actually now i think about it the handle should probably be metal so i should probably text him that because if you're going to put it in the grill you don't want the plastic to melt so i'll text him that now is this interesting i don't know if it is interesting but i love trying new vegan brands and like products and I never know if they're any good. So, yeah, why not? I'll just share with you some products that I have been... Products? Not even products. Food products. Um, first and foremost... Oh, this is empty. I've got a full one as well. But these are the new... I think they're new. I haven't seen them before. But they are basically Vegan Feta by Cauldron. That's what they look like. Um, and I put these on my Instagram and I got someone saying don't buy those they're disgusting and I got somebody else saying um these are amazing so I had to buy them and try them for myself because I, I, I didn't have a you know I didn't know which way it was going to swing it could they could be amazing they could have been disgusting I think they're really really good they're, but they are made of tofu they're, oh let me get the let me get the open packet one sec this is what they look like so they kind of look like feta but in uh, olive oil and I've kept the oil of the other one. The reason why I haven't chucked that away is because I can use the oil for cooking and things like that because it's kind of got like a, pest, a vegan pesto in it. Um, a nice basil flavour. But yeah, I really recommend these if you like salt. <laughs> if you like salt, you need to buy these. But they are pretty salty but I really like them in salads or in wraps or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's those. They're by Cauldron and I found those in Sainsbury's. Um, I haven't tried this yet but Aldi, Aldi. Aldi's natural soy gurt, soy yogurt. Haven't tried that yet, but I'm intrigued. And also these Oggs. So I haven't tried this brand before, but I've seen them a lot. These are the Victoria sponge cakes by the brand Oggs. I wasn't too impressed with these, but I did buy them a while ago and kept them in the fridge. So I didn't know if that did something to them. Let me know if you've tried these because I, I was a bit sort of underwhelmed. They're vegan. I don't think they're gluten-free. They're just egg-free. But the texture of the cake was was good. I just didn't really get the flavour. But then I heated another one. I had, I had a second one just to make sure I didn't like it. And the second one I heated up in the microwave for a little bit. And that one was a lot nicer. But um, yeah, let me know if you've tried these. Because I wasn't super duper impressed. But I, I feel like these get really, really good reviews. So maybe I'm missing a trick. Anyway, I'm going to prep the toppings now. Ready for when the frying pan gets back from the shop and put the tonic waters in the fridge, as I said I was gonna do. <laughs> Scatterbrain. Don't overwork it. I promise you it's gonna be tough if you keep doing that. <laughs> well, that's your one, not mine. Yeah. These are the instructions, if you're wondering. Pause to read. Someone is overworking there, so you're here. Yeah, I think I've overworked it. I think you've overworked it. Oh, we still I've made pizza before and I've made oh, that mistake. I've ma no, I'm saying I've made that mistake before. We're just preheating a pan, which is what that squeaky noise is. Yeah, listen. 
Can you hear that? Yes. Take it out of the pot, press it out flat with the tips of your fingers to make a 10 inch pizza base. I'm a modern girl. I don't work in inches, I work in centimetres. Oh, it's sticky. 10 inches is, how big is a ruler? This is what mine looks like. I added some chili garlic, some chilies, <laughs> one salt and vinegar crisp, um, and some vegan mozzarella. But our grill doesn't really work, so I'm, we're gonna put it in the oven instead, see if that works. And this is, um, yeah. Our oven is kind of rubbish, so I'm gonna have my dessert before my dinner because the grill wasn't working, so now I'll put the pizza in the oven with the door closed to see if it will cook, but I just don't think it's at a high enough temperature. So I'm gonna warn off any hangriness with this hazelnut bar I bought earlier. Here we go. Looks pretty darn good considering the oven was not hot enough. Bib on my new jumper just in case. <laughs> The first cut is the deepest. I think I went overboard with the olive oil on top. I think maybe I added too much cheese. My quantities are all off. Mm, mm, mm. I totally forgot to update you guys after pizza. Pizza time. Um, but it was really, really good. It would work a lot better if your oven actually heated up to... <gasps> I can use my gimbal. One second. Look how shaky. Okay, take note. Look how shaky the camera is now. Ooh, oh, headache. Feeling a bit motion sick. Oh, no. On. On. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. Whoa, look at this smooth action. Oh, yeah. Got myself a gimbal. If you don't know what a gimbal is, it looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. And it just means that when I'm vlogging, it's going to be nice and smooth. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Probably not that impressive, but it just means that I'm not going to be shaking around. Look. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'm going to sign off this video here. And I will thank you for watching. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to catch you soon on the old channel. So subscribe if you wanna. And if you don't want to, then I completely respect I completely respect your decision. But if you've got to the end of this video and you're still not gonna subscribe, I mean I do question your life choices a little bit. Um, but I still wish you well on your way. And yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, wash your bum. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,